Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do your weekly read. This is going to be for the sign of Leo from September 29th to August 4th, 2022 or whenever you come across it. So shout out to everybody. Hi Leo. In case nobody told you today, I love you. I hope everything's great. Delilah's with us. She's just moved over a little. So she's sitting right here. This is our little spirit guide and uh, mascot on this channel. So she's a good little girl and she just sits here while I, while I do this. Uh, all right, so listen, there's the syndicate of Fugazi poses out there trying to take your money, all right? I'm sure you've heard about this. So I will never reach out to you under any circumstances, nor will I have anybody that I know reach out to you. So please be very mindful of that because the last thing I want is to see anybody get their money taken or, you know, taken advantage of. So if you need me, all my information is in the box below. Uh, you know, please, it's on you to contact me. If you'd like to make a donation, great. If you'd like to book a personal reading, you know, um, I think I got a couple open for next week and also, um, you know, yeah, so just be mindful of that. Okay. So please hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to join me, I'd love to have you the notification bell. If you want to be notified when I upload and, uh, yeah. So don't be a God bone. That is to say sharing is caring. I encourage you to take only what resonates with you. That's if something resonates with you. Don't make it resonate if it doesn't. Leave the rest for somebody else. Because the energy is thick out there. There are so many of you in the collective, it's ridiculous. So I tried to make this fun thing about, oh, you know, I'm going to make a joke. Everybody hit the dislike button. We're doing the dislike challenge. But you people didn't feel that either. So if you can't find it in your heart to hit the like button... Please, hit the dislike button. I'm a big girl. I can take it, but get your energy out there. Time is linear. These readings are timeless. When you come across it, it's when you're meant to see it. Also, we are gender neutral. So I may say he or she, depending on the card that comes out. But remember, energy is fluid. You can be in your masculine or feminine at any time. So please apply the energy to your situation. Uh, what else is there? Is that it, Delilah? All right. Also, you know, you should know your planetary placements. If you don't know your sun, which is the sign you were born under, your moon, which is your emotions, your rising, which is the face you show the world, and your Venus, which is love and money. Also, your north node, your purpose in life. Maybe you could go over to a place like Cafe Astrology and figure it out. It's free, it's fun, and it's accurate. Here we go. With an attitude of gratitude, I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to deliver clear and concise messages for the higher good of Leo. Show me what Leo needs to see, please, and thank you. Okay, not the whole deck, but it's not get crazy. Show me what Leo needs to see, please, and thank you. Show me Leo. Go ahead, a couple more. Okay. Okay, Ace of Cups. That's really good. That's, you know, joy and happiness, contentment. Okay, we got a flipper. Now you have the lovers. So you're going to be making a choice, okay? There's a choice coming up for you. Spirit is challenging with making a choice that's going to bring you, you know, inner peace, joy, happiness, contentment. Okay, well, here we go. This is detachment. So, you know, at the, at the foundation of this, you detach from something. Okay, you were fed up with something, disgusted, and you, were, you walked away from something, right? Now, you got justice. So this is, you know, fairness and balance. There could be a Libra involved. So that's crowning. Fairness and balance is coming into a situation. Show me. Show me, show me, show me what I need to see. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Hmm. You got the three of swords in reverse. So if there was heartbreak, if there was any kind of emotional pain, it is healing now, okay? This is, you know, there could have been confusion, loss, somebody made an error, but, okay. That's what, you know, three of swords in reverse is. So now you got the empress. This is a Taurus energy. This is full abundance. This is somebody, you know, she's, Somebody could be birthing a new idea, or you could be hearing about somebody having a baby. Maybe you're having a baby, but this is, you know, she's all four queens in one. She's beautiful, abundant, prosperous. Now you got the six of cups. The six of cups is nostalgic and memory. So don't be nostalgic. Snap out of it. It's not, you know, when people get nostalgic and they think about memories, they tend to, uh, you know, do it with rose-colored glasses. So if you're going to be nostalgic, remember the pain that was caused as well. Show me. Show 
stomach. Two more for Leo, please and thank you. Okay, here we go. You have the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. That's really good. Okay, so the Six of Pentacles is stability. All right, so, you know, there's stability coming into your future. This is prosperity. Somebody could be giving you gifts. This is also, a, you know, a Libra card. So, um, yeah, that's really good. All right, and also, at the end of this, the most likely outcome is the Ace of Swords. So there will be a breakthrough. There will be a truth in the situation. These are the facts, okay? Uh, that's really good, guys. I'm happy for you. This is triumph. You're going to be triumphant. At the bottom of the deck, you have Sagittarius, the temperance. This is tempering your emotions, biting your tongue, turning your cheek, not losing your top. So that's really good. Now it's clarified. Okay. Give me this Ace of Cups. What's this joy, happiness, and contentment? One more, please. All right. So let's see. Okay, so you could, all right, so there were lies and secrets being kept. This is two cancer cards coming out. So the cancer is very, very strong in this. Um, lies, secrets, the two of swords is, you know, denial, conformity. Um, it is being, you know, courageous, but it's not seeing the truth for what it is. Because maybe there were lies, deception, secrets being kept, you know, things being done in the dark behind your back that you didn't know about. And so now, you know, you're moving quickly out of this. This is fast forward movement. You could be traveling. You could be getting a new vehicle, but you're getting, you know, you're getting out of this situation. Why? Because there were too many lies, you know, and you're not, you know, you don't want to be in denial. You're not in denial anymore. So that's a good thing. Okay. Now show me this choice you're going to make. What's this choice? <clears throat> this choice is what? The king of pentacles in reverse. Well, this is somebody who's financially unstable. This is somebody, you know, this could be weakness, corruption, ugliness, you know, so be careful of that. Somebody who's not, you know, they're not being patient, they're not financially stable. This is leaving you at crossroads in need of weighing your options, all right? In the need of balance. So right now you're in need of balance and you're weighing your options. Show me. Show me. Maybe you got to balance out your finances, right? Your challenge is your king of pentacles is in reverse. <clears throat> Show me. Okay. Now you have the page of pentacles in reverse. All right. So this is, you know, in reverse, this is somebody who's not grounded, somebody who's not organized, somebody who's not trying to even learn how to fix their um, their financial situation. So if somebody's coming in to offer you a job or anything like that, it's not really a stable offer. Be careful about that. Oh, a new way to make money. I wouldn't trust it. Now, this detachment. What is this? I'm fed up and I'm getting the hell out of Dodge is what I'm hearing. <laughs> wow. Fed up and getting out of Dodge. Okay. That's a good thing. Too many. Yeah. Show me. Okay. So now you got too many burdens. What did I just say? I was just about to say too many burdens. Wow. There's too many burdens. That's why you're detaching. And, uh... You know, you're being very stern about it. This is you, Leo, the king of wands, okay? So you're in your element right here. This is honest, unemotional, no-nonsense, fair, organized, dark, though. Like, not affectionate, not warm. Oh, my God, here goes my nose. But, um, you know, like I always say, this king of wands, they'll just as soon look at you as cut your head off. Not taking no bullshit. You're not taking no bullshit. Yeah, that's why you're detaching, because you're sick of the burdens, right? You're sick of these burdens. Too many burdens on you, Leo. Okay, one more. Show me the King of Wands. Show me. Okay. Yeah, because you were left out in the cold, or you left somebody out in the cold. But, yeah. It could be whoever you're detaching from here, right? Leaving somebody out in the cold because there's too many burdens. You know, and you're being really stern about it. You're not taking no more shit. So good for you. Now what's this justice? What's this fairness and balance? Libra, show me. Okay, all three came out at once. Mink, yachts, guys. Okay, oh boy. All right, so what do we got here? We got, oh, oh, look at this. This is really good. Okay, so now you're deciding that you're going to be working very hard at something, okay? Whatever, whatever is going to be fair and balanced to you. Um, this is a breakthrough. This is the truth. These are the facts. This is an ace of swords, all right? So this is, you know, a conquest, a triumph. 
Why? Because now you're coming into your own reading again, Leo, the sun. Completion, ultimate happiness. This is what you're this is what you're looking for. Okay? So, yeah. Whoever you're leaving out in the cold over here, you're detaching from, you know, there's gonna be justice, fairness and balance in the situation. It's gonna come in now, because this is crowning you. So you're gonna be working hard at something now, rebuilding. Something that's, you know, the truth, something that's uh, you know. A triumph, a breakthrough, and, you know, you're going to conquest whatever this is to find your ultimate happiness. So, good for you, Leo. Even that danky shit in the past. This is what I'm hearing. Okay, so now what's with this? Show me this. Show me. Please, and thank you. Oh, my nose is itching, guys. Okay. So, now you got the Queen of Pentacles upright. So, you know, now you're going to... You're going to take this time and you're going to fix your finances. This queen of pentacles is, you know, confident, responsible, patient, hardworking, financially stable, intelligent person. So this could be you or somebody coming into your future. Earth energy. Oh, sorry, my nose is itching like crazy right now. We're channeling. Okay, we got a flipper. Oh, why? Because somebody, it was a painful ending and destruction. Sure, whatever you're detaching from here to go find your happiness. That's why you got this, uh, you know, yeah. Painful endings and destruction. So be careful. <clears throat> it may hurt a little to do whatever you have to do up here by detaching from whatever, you know. But it's going to be, it's going to be the best thing for you. <clears throat> it's for your higher good. Give me one more, please. And thank you. Hey, Joe. What's up? Okay. You got to use your intuition. Now, this is a Gemini energy. You're going to be using your intuition. You know everything you need to know. Follow your gut, okay? That's the high priestess. She's the keeper of the veil. She knows everything. She may not say she knows it, keeps her mouth shut, but she knows. Now you got this Empress energy. What's going on over here? This is in your mind's eye. You're seeing full abundance, beauty in your situation. Power. This is a powerful woman here. Male or female. Feminine energy. Okay. Now, oh, look, all three came out at once. I love that. Okay, so. You're probably stressed out about whatever this is, okay? It's going to stress you out a little. But you're going to take a time out, pause, and reflect. This is looking at things from a different perspective, right? Once you do that, you got this Queen of Cups coming in. This could be you or this could be somebody else. This is a water energy. This is somebody who's loving, warm, nurturing. So it could be a water sign or somebody that has water in their chart. But this is somebody who's, you know, invested. They're honest. They're supportive. They're devoted. Trustworthy. Open-minded, warm, okay? Now, show me this. Six of Cups, show me. <clears throat> nostalgic, you know. Being nostalgic, thinking of the past. This is what's in your environment. Okay, this is a Virgo energy now. You might, you know, want to... Disconnect from society, people, just everything for a minute. Go inside yourself. Take time out to figure out what's right for you, okay? Shine your own light. <clears throat> Ten of Wands. Okay, so that's not, you know, this is burdens, oppression. Oh, this is Two of Wands. I'm sorry, Leo. This is Two of Wands. Um, so Two of Wands is inspiration, success, magnificent. So something's going to inspire you now. When you go inside, okay, when you go inside to figure out what's best for you, you're going to come out feeling very inspired. Show me. That's a, oh, it, and then you're going to be completely successful. You're going to be completely successful, all right? Ultimate happiness, ultimate success. So you have to go inside and figure out what's best for you. And whatever it is, it's going to put a fire under your ass, and then you're going to be completely successful and happy. The world is the end of the major arcana. Right, but what you got to do is come out of this nostalgia. Can't be in this nostalgia. Now, show me this. Six of Pentacles. Stability, prosperity, attention. Somebody could be giving you a gift, right? Show me. Can I have three cards for this, please? Thank you.
Yep. Okay, this is, you know, this is for cups. My hands is itching now, Mink. This is weariness, this is, you know, disgust, this is loss and hardship, this is sitting, crying over the cups that are warm with flies in them, not looking out the window to see how beautiful it, out, it is out, or this kid coming in with a new cup. So, you know, snap out of it. Again, it's like nostalgic and stagnancy. It's like that. What do I tell you about that? Stagnancy equals stink, right? So, you know, forget about what you lost. Look at what you have coming in, yeah? Page of Cups. Okay, so this is a younger person, water sign. This is, you know, this could be an offer of emotion coming in. This is somebody who's, uh, you know, fair, young. It's trustworthy. It's innocent. So somebody could be coming in to offer you a cup. It's genuine. It's trustworthy. One more, please. Yep, Four of Wands. So this is stability, harmony, prosperity, peace. All right, happiness. But it's, it's Aries card for stability. So that's really good. Now, show me this Ace of Swords, please. Break through the truth. Oh my God, my nose is itching. A triumph, a conquest. What is this? Okay, of course, for this, please. Okay, so you got the Aquarius. Uh, you got the star in reverse. So, you know, something might not be illuminated. Um, you're not feeling very vulnerable, whatever this is. <clears throat> can't find any inspiration in the situation. Maybe the truth, but that, you know, whatever that truth is, it's not going to inspire you. Show me. Show me. Two more, please. Two more. Let's go. The Hierophant. This could involve some legal matters, anything traditionalism. It could be a it could be a marriage. Uh it could be, you know, a religious matter. It could be, you know, the Pope, the sheriff, but it's anything traditional. You know. Show me. Yep. Okay, so here. How many more do we have? We have two more here. All right. So you could be getting some fast information, fast forward movement. You know, the Eight of Wands is um, rapid forward movement. It's activity. It's swift. It's haste. And the Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody who's not using their head, not thinking. This is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is somebody who, you know, they are malicious. They could be deceitful, um, cruel, okay? Perverse, somebody with bad intentions. So be careful of that. Maybe you're getting some, excuse me, fast forward information about somebody who's just, you know, not for you, looking to do the most to you. So, you know, this could involve some legalities, right? And that's why you're not feeling inspired. But you're going to get the truth in a breakthrough. So there's a truth in a breakthrough. Yep. Yeah. It's going to come in fast. It could involve, you know, somebody who's being very deceitful to you. Uh, could have involved a marriage or something, and you know, you're gonna find it very uninspiring. So, there you go, Leo. Let's get some other cards for you right now at the bottom of this. Whatever this is, you will be successful at it, okay? Now, let's get Kippers. Let's see what Kipper has to say about this. You have all the Kippers. Yes, we do. Here we go. Kipper, could you please put your two senses in this situation? Don't forget, guys, I'm never gonna contact you, so please be mindful. If you need me for anything, like to book a reading or anything like that, my information is on the box below. You need to contact me. Also, right now, you can let your fingers do the walking. It's a snap, right? If you can't hit the like, hit the dislike. Get your energy out there. Please and thank you. Give me Kippers. Kipper, what do you have to say about this? Okay, let's go. You have. There could be a wealthy man involved in this situation. Number 13 or 4. You got a privileged lady. 12 or 3. Show me. Some of you could be traveling. There's distant horizons. 36 or 9. Give me. Whoa. 
Go ahead, we gotta take them. Somebody could be b being held in high honor, okay? This could be somebody in the military, somebody in, you know, the police force, something like that. But 25 and seven. Then you got the number eight. There is a false person around you, so be careful with that. There could be a courtship involved, number four. Somebody's thinking about you or you're thinking about somebody, but you're in the back of each other's heads, 16 or seven. This official person, this could be the person being held in high honor, 22 or four. And there could be adjudication, number 30. So we got four, two, three, three, three. Uh, okay. Three, three, three could be uh, uh, your angel code number or two, 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 two. Four twos or three threes. Go Google that. It could be helpful to you. Now let's get some hidden truths in the matter. Yeah, let's see what. This is something that's on your mind that maybe you want to say to somebody or something that somebody wants to say to you, but you're not just opening your mouth to either one of you. So I say if you have something on your chest, get it off. You don't want to carry that shit for the rest of your life, right? Two, one more is three. Plus, time is promised to no one, right? So, yeah, you don't want to take things to your grave. Here we go. We need to let each other go. The timing just wasn't right for us. I want to be more than friends. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I hide behind material things. You came closer than anyone. Just being near you is intoxicating. It's starting to understand our connection. Is that the end of it? Let's go around the mountain and find out. One more time. Okay, that's the end of the Hidden Truths. Now let's get you an Oracle card. And then we'll get you some Moonology cards and get you on your way. Don't forget, let your fingers do the walking. Thank you for joining me, Leo. Delilah, thanks you as well. Here's your oracle card. Give it to me. Please and thank you. Can I have a card? All right, there you go, Leo. Your card is Avenor. Make peace with your past. Yeah, definitely do that, Leo, because you know what? You shouldn't live in the past. Learn from it and move forward in a positive direction, but make peace with it. I'm sure everybody's doing the best they can. And then you have 23 at the bottom here, Panacea. So this is, there is a solution for every problem. This is card number one. So now let's get you some Moonology cards and we'll get you on your way, okay? Here we go. Clear and ground, thank you. Okay, here we go. Moonology cards, please. we have <clears throat> okay guys a new start is coming the new moon adjustments are required third quarter moon you're very close to achieving your goal give you moon take time to breathe out disamenting moon conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse the energy is gaining momentum waxing moon confidence is your key new moon in leo Look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. Your dreams need a practical plan, full moon in Taurus. A fiery clim climax approaches, full moon in Aries. And your hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn. So yeah, that's excellent. And uh, I guess that's it, right? We, we did the oracle, we did everything. Okay, guys, so that's it. Thank you so much for being here. Delilah says goodbye until next time. Um, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to hit the like and dislike button, please and thank you. Always lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. And trust in God because karma is real. Until next time, Leo, love and light.